So this is uh, an uh, Akai GX 600 dB. Okay, let me show you how to replace this counter belt. There is another belt, a belt from the counter underneath which, which goes from here to here, but I will show this one. As you can see, this belt is so loose that I'm turning I'm, I'm turning uh, this here and this doesn't even move because the belt uh, is uh, loose. Let me So, in order to replace uh, this belt, looks like from the beginning that you have to take out this. So, uh, you don't have to take it out. You just have to take out one, two screws here and take out that thing here. There is a metal plate here which covers the, the, the plastic band, the plastic tape here, which, is, which plays the role of the brake, just like that. So, I will show you, show you now how you, you can take this belt out without taking out all this thing. So, let me show you. I was just planning to do this myself, but uh, I thought uh, somebody might be interested to know how it's done, so I will show it on camera. So there are two screws here, okay, that hold this metal plate which is here on the side, okay, two, two screws out and that metal thing out. You see how it is? Now, to take out the belt, you just take it out from the pulley here and you bring it out from here. Just like that. Then, you just have to apply a pressure here on the brake so that the, the plastic tape gets loose from around the wheel here and then you can just Take it out like that and it's out. Okay? After you measure it and you take a new belt that fits better here and everything, uh, the, the, the way to put it back is just uh, the same as it went out. You just put it here, you apply here some pressure, just like that, and try to put it around the plastic band just like that and now that is in there you can just pull it put it here put it also under here where is the correct place to to put it and put this back and screw it here back in place uh, if you see the holes here, they are not exactly circle so you can just uh, you can adjust this how inside it is, so just put it a little bit away, so when, when you put it and you screw it in place, put some pressure here on the brake and turn this, if it turns loose, then this is at the correct place, just like that, tuck and it stops. If you put it very close to this and you try and take out the brake like that, then this doesn't move. That's wrong. You have to put it a little bit to the back so that this turns freely when there is no brake applied to this. And this is the way to replace this belt.